when I was in grade school and when I was in high school. I was taught there's two way, two ways to interpret the Bible. There's one way in taking everything that is written um, for for uh, exactly what it says is exactly what's true, um, and then there's another way, which is understanding that there's certain symbols that doesn't only really say or say exactly what he means. Um, and I think the latter interpretation is best used in Genesis um, in regards to creation. Um, do I think that God did exactly, you know, everything that was written in Genesis exactly happened you know, in that specific way? No. Um, but I think it does portray uh, the fact that God did create this, this earth. He did create us, and he's responsible for our creation. But the fact that he did it through evolution is something that, you know, is plausible. Another uh, aspect that um, we were talking about for, for past week that really interests me is the uh, concept of sin and in uh, original sin. Uh, Adam and Eve, of course, uh, strayed from God. They were disobedient and uh, caused us to have original sin. And um, However, uh, that, that's, sometimes that tricks us to think that it's Adam and Eve's fault that we are the way we are, which is not true. Ultimately, we have free will, just like Adam and Eve have free will, and uh, we sin. Now, we have uh, concupiscence, the tendency to sin, uh, which was uh, just a byproduct of uh, original sin. It really interests me, and um, it's really, really interesting to uh, look at just how, how God reacts to us and just how much God loves us. Even though we do so many things wrong, um, God still loves us. He shows mercy even to Cain um, when he killed his brother. You see, he shows mercy.